Hello everyone, welcome to SD Model Cars. In this video, I would like to show you this 164 scale Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. This is made by JKM. Uh, price point on this $15 uh, shipped to the US. I got this from AliExpress. So this is the fourth generation Grand Cherokee. This is the uh, WK2 generation. And let's take a closer look at this Jeep. Uh, looking at the uh, front of the car, the headlights are separate lenses. Uh, there isn't much detail uh, that you can see from behind the lens, uh, you know, but you do see some of the uh, uh, reflector details and you do see this amber uh, side marker here uh, on the side. And uh, you get the uh, Jeep uh, signature grille, uh, the seven slots, right? And each one of the slots is uh, uh, surrounded by the chrome strips. So it's pretty neatly done, actually. And if you look at the hood, there's the Jeep logo here, as well as these two fans here. Okay. Uh, looking at the front grille, uh, you got the lower grille here. Uh, this is not perforated, right? Just uh, uh, It's actually molded together with the rest of the car. It's just painted black. Uh, but still, you know, it's it's done pretty okay. All right, so let's take a look at the side of the Jeep. Uh, again, this is the Trackhawk uh, version, so it does sit sit a little lower, uh, you know. And if you look at, at uh, take a closer look at the wheels here. So I um, uh, one thing I did is uh, I painted this uh, like how do I say this? But you know, like this this outer ring in between the spokes. There, there used to be black, so the chrome, uh, like the silver uh, ring around the outside perimeter of the wheel, it wasn't continuous, and I decided to paint it silver, uh, you know, like all the way around, kind of to give it a bit more cohesive look. So, yeah, so the wheel details are, you know, they're they're pretty okay, uh, nothing too spectacular, and if you can see this, it says Grand Cherokee uh, Supercharge. So here's the uh, uh, chassis details. Uh, you know, everything is molded into one piece. There's no separate uh, piece. Uh, they do paint the uh, exhaust silver, right? That runs, uh, you know, from the engine all the way to the back. And you've got the quad tailpipe exiting on the back here. Okay. So uh, the one thing about the this, this Jeep um, that was, you know, I, I would say kind of like the cons, uh, if you look at the paint, right, uh, you can see how thin the paints are uh, on the edges, right? Like you can see that the paint is barely there uh, on the uh, uh, on the edge of the doors and the gaps here, as well as, as this um, um, gap here uh, within the, uh, the uh, you know, the, the fender flares. So, you know, hindsight, if you want to get this car, I would suggest to get a darker color. Uh, they also come in black and blue. And, you know, so this, this thin paint is not going to be too uh, obvious like it is in the white car. Okay. Um, on the top, you know, you, you, you get the uh, panoramic sunroof, uh, all black interior. And, you know, you got the uh, rear view mirror with the uh, reflective uh, surfaces uh, there as well. Okay, looking at the back of it, uh, the taillight assembly are separate lenses, right? You get the Jeep uh, uh, emblem here, uh, the Jeep license plate, and you have the two uh, painted on uh, uh, reflector slash fog lights here on the bottom, and you can see the quad tailpipe coming out from the back. You also get the uh, the third eye brake light here as well on the top of the uh, rear glass. Okay. Here's the uh, other uh, side view uh, of the Grand Cherokee. Okay. And this car is uh, left hand drive. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, comments, or, or suggestions, uh, feel free to post them in the uh, comment section. Must appreciate it if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you enjoyed the review of this uh, cheap uh, Grand Cherokee. I will see you in my next video. And thanks for watching.